Welcome back to Breakfast Television. It's 841. Of course, Andy taking an extra long day for the long weekend, but that's okay because we've got Lori Gibbs from 95.9 CHFM uh, Mornings filling in, and we got a great Bachelor episode to review, don't we? This is the best because you and I talk about this in the alley all the time, and now we get to really do it. <laughs> You're bringing up the alley. All right. So we finally made it to hometowns. Uh, we've been counting down for this. But, of course, last week when Katie left, she left with an ominous warning for Colton. And that was beware because the ladies, there are ladies here who are not after your best interests, of course. Well, they started off in Colorado, which happens to be Colton's hometown. And Taysha got the first one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I'm not going to lie. She surprised me all season long. I really like her maturity. That too, but I didn't think she was going to make it this far. I didn't either because he's a bit of a man-child, and I thought that he would go with someone of his own maturity level rather than somebody who was... More mature. Well, it was a sweet dinner for the two of them in at uh, Colton's apartment. I am, he's actually decorates really well for a single bachelor, right? Did he do that though? I, I'm hoping he did. But of course, um, is her family, is Tasha's family ready for Colton? I loved how she just laid down the truth. Listen, my dad is not happy about, you know, men in my life, so he's going to be a bit protective. Yeah. But she said that, you know, as long as Colton loves her, shows her the respect, then there won't be any, um, well, Colton won't be taken out back and, and uh, getting a little talking to, essentially. Colton is not going to make it. That, he's not. He's, he's, that's not going to be his pick because they're going to be like, honey, you hold on for something better. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's how I feel about it, too. Now, Caitlin is one of the girls that, uh, well, Colton was warned about, essentially, that she was not there for the right intentions. What do you think? Do you think she was truthful when she said that she's falling for him? She wants to have the baby. She's ready for this. This is Kayla the beauty queen, right? Yes, it is. I don't believe her. You know why? Because I think she did that because she was under pressure. Because the other girl said, hey, you're just in this to be the next Bachelorette. And then she just started defending herself. Well, she did. I think she did a great job of it. And I mean, she got the rose. She's on to hometowns. And of course, what date doesn't end without being serenaded under the stars, right? I feel bad for other men because this show is setting you up to fail when it comes to these dates. Totally. We'll just go through a door and there's like a major recording artist there. Well, um, Hannah B., our other beauty queen, of course, she got the last one-on-one. -on -one and it looked like it was going really well until... Oh, I didn't see that coming. You didn't see it coming. Colton just brutally... Just, we're not going to get there. We're not going to get there. Right after he takes her to his parents' house for, like, an impromptu visit, and she says, I'm in love with your son. Exactly. Which, you know, she got the hometown before the hometown, but it didn't turn out for but Hannaby whatsoever. Of course, Colton, free. you know, you got to give him credit because he did say, and I can't shake your dad's hand if I'm not 100% sure. Who's ready in all of this? Uh, I didn't. I know there's somebody for you, and I, I know, know that. somebody's going to make you incredibly happy, and you're going to make somebody incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. Did you not feel that was yeah. like salt being rubbed in the wound? You just dumped her on national television, and then the last thing you say is, yeah, there's somebody out there for you. Yes, but I couldn't, I couldn't, because all I looked at were her sleeves the entire time. <laughs> Everybody's going on about the sleeves. All right, well, sh Hannah B. was escorted out the door, and, of course, we had two roses left with four ladies. Oh. And can you believe it? How many women have quit this season? Because Heather said, no, I'm out of here. I'm taking myself out of this whole equation. I don't want anything to do with it, which led us into our death dinner date. That's really oh. what it felt like. So uh, the ladies went on to have dinner with Colton. Of course, um, Hannah G. got the, the third rose, and poor Kerpa and Cassie just sitting there in absolute silence. It was the most awkward thing I've ever seen. It was seen. absolutely awkward. And then look at that, Miss Beauty Queen. Kaylin rolls in. Yeah. I kind of have to give her credit. She did go up and stick up for Cassie, saying, you know what, other women are lying about her. You shouldn't be listening to this which actually worked out for Cassie because she got the last rose. We said goodbye to Kerpa, and we're moving on to hometowns. Oh, ma'am. I can't handle it. You can't, I, can't, I can't handle the fact that we did not finally see the reason why Colton jumped over the fence. Where's okay? the fence jump? Where's the fence jumping? We're hoping it's going to come next week with the hometowns. Maybe he's running around, running away from some of the parents. But, of course, I lost another one last night, but all my eggs are in one basket, oh, and that boy. happens to be Hannah G. I, I, I think she's going to do this. But, of course, Andy, he's managed to go all season long, finally lost 
his first lady last night. Why so is he so good at that? I know. He also lost Hannah B. So he's got Hannah G, Caitlin, and Cassie. So he's got three of the top four. So, <gasps> so I got just... a feeling that Andy's going to be walking away as the Bachelor winner between the two of us. He lost his first one and happened to not be here today. Interesting. <laughs> well, hopefully he was up late last <laughs> night, you know, watching the show, and he'll have some good things to say tomorrow. Thank you so much, Lori, for stopping you, in. Babe.